Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today for these moments of devotion with our Good Shepherd. I read from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. God made him who did not know sin to become sin for us, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Whenever a professional sports team trades a player, fans like to discuss whether or not the trade was fair. Sports writers often weigh in with a trade grade for each team involved. They debate which team won the trade, who got the better end of the deal, who came out worse. Professional sports leagues often put stipulations into place, like players' salaries matching, to help make sure that trades are not lopsided, but balanced for each team. No matter what the context, when it comes to trading, we want the trade to be fair. In general, we like our exchanges to be equal. In God's word today, the Apostle Paul describes a trade that's far from fair. It's an exchange that is anything but equal. But for you and me, it's the best trade there could ever have been. You and I know sin. We know it because we've experienced it in our thoughts, words, and actions, and attitudes. Those things that we do that we should never do, and those things we don't do that we always should do, they make us feel the burden of guilt. Guilt is the realization that I have failed to hit God's mark, and there's a price to pay for my failure. Somebody has to pay, and that somebody should be me. And the price that I owe can never be repaid except by an eternity separated from God and everything good in hell. But then God proposed a trade. It's the kind of trade no owner or general manager of any professional sports franchise would ever think of making. God offered the absolute best player on his team, one who was flawless in every respect, for a bunch of scrubs, for people who have no trade value whatsoever. To be precise, he traded the righteousness of his one and only Son for each and every one of our sins. Jesus Christ never knew sin from experience like you and I do. Yet, God treated him like he was the greatest sinner in the world, like every sin belonged to him. That's because he put our sins on Jesus at the cross and in exchange. God gave us Jesus' perfect righteousness. That means since he treated Jesus according to our sins, he now treats us according to Christ's righteousness. He calls us perfect. My friends, that's not fair. Thank God you and I get to trade everything that is bad about us for everything that is perfect about Jesus, our worst for his best. There's no other trade like it in the world. Through it, our Savior fixes our failures forever. He makes us winners for all eternity. That's a great exchange. We pray. Lord Jesus, may I always marvel at the great exchange you have made for me. Amen. Well, everyone, remember and marvel at that great exchange God has made for you.